Hello, and welcome to DIY for you, the programme for all you do-it-yourselfers out there. Now, some people think that home improvement is boring. We're here to show you that it isn't. <laughs> Last week, I fit into my dog basket with a tasteful Georgian carriage lamp. <laughs> and I did this. <laughs> now, painting. There are three sizes of paint roller you can choose from. This is for radiators and awkward corners. This is for ordinary wall surfaces. And this... It's for lazy bastards. <laughs> Coming up later, our regular tiling feature, grout about. But first, some simple home plumbing. Yes, first, with a dripping chap, many people call in a professional plumber. Now, there's really no need for this. There is no mystery about plumbing, and I, for example, fitted my own central heating system, and you'd never know the difference except that the toilet now flushes at 100 degrees centigrade. <laughs> and I don't advise using the B-Day. <laughs> except for boiling the bag kippers. <laughs> Derek, last week you decided to have your loft converted. That's right, and my loft is now Roman Catholic. <laughs> now, one problem DIY enthusiasts can face is that they run out of things to do with their house. Now, if this is the case, why not turn to outdoors? Last week, for example, I pebble-dashed my caravan. <laughs> and I put stone cladding on my Austin Allegro. <laughs> not only does it look terrific, it also slightly improved the acceleration. <laughs> and finally, Derek has received a letter from a Mr Harrison regarding a traditional problem faced by many DIY fanatics. Ahem. <clears throat> Dear Derek... When I announced that I was going to put a power shower in the fridge, my wife told me I was the most boring DIY-obsessed husband in the world. Well, we had a jolly good laugh about that. And then she left me. <laughs> Never mind, Mr Harrison. If your wife's left you, you'll just have to do it yourself. 